I understand the idea of an annuity, and I remember talking about present value. However, I don't really know what is meant by the present value of an annuity. Yes, finding the present value of an annuity is a complicated question. Annuities are used in business a lot. But the present value of an ordinary annuity is the amount of money that is needed today that will satisfy a future need for cash payments at some time in the future. Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will discuss the present value of an ordinary annuity. Specifically, we will cover the following topics. We will define the present value of an ordinary annuity. We will use the formula to find the present value of an ordinary annuity. And we will find the equivalent cash price of an ordinary annuity. The present value of an annuity is the present value of the series of equal periodic payments. Let's look at an exercise in which we calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity. We have an annuity in which $1,700 is paid at the end of each six months for 14 years into an account paying 5% semi-annually. We want to find the present value of that account. We first find I, which is the rate per period. I is 5% divided by two, since interest is compounded semi-annually. So the rate per period is two and a half percent. And the number of periods is 14 years, semi-annually is 28 periods. Now in order to find the present value of this annuity, we will need to go to the present value of the annuity table. Here we have the present value of an annuity in which we have the interest rates across the top going from 1% to 12%, and we have the number of periods going down the columns going from one period to 50 periods. We need to find the present value of the annuity in which the interest rate is 2.5% and the number of periods is 28. That value is 19.96489. So the present value of our annuity is 1,700 multiplied times the value from the table, which is 19.96489, which is $33,940.31. $33,940.31 is the lump sum whose present value is equal to all the accumulated payments and interest at the end of the term for $1,700 deposited semi-annually for 14 years. Let's look at an exercise in which we find the present value of an annuity. Jason Clinton needs $7,000 every six months for living expenses and tuition at the University of Texas at Austin. As an engineering major, it will take him five years to earn his college degree. Find A, the lump sum that must be deposited to meet this need, and B, the interest earned assuming 8% per year compounded semi-annually. First, let's find the interest rate per period. I is 8% compounded semi-annually, which will be 4% per period. N is the total number of periods, which is five years, times two periods each year, which is 10 periods. Now, in order to find the present value of that annuity, which is the lump sum, we will need to go to the present value of an annuity table. So let's take a look at that table. And here again in this table, we will go across to the column headed 4%. We will go down to the row with 10 periods and we will find this value is 8.11090. So the lump sum, which is the present value of the annuity, is $7,000 times 8.11090, or $56,776.30.
So we know that $56,776.30 is the lump sum, which when deposited today, will meet this need of $7,000 every six months for five years. Now let's find the interest that will be earned. The interest earned, we will first need to find the sum of all the payments. which will be $7,000 times 10 payments, which is $70,000. So the interest will be the difference between $70,000 and the present value, which is $56,776.30. So the interest is $13,223.70. So a lump sum today of $56,776.30 will allow payments of $7,000 to be paid semi-annually for five years, and the interest earned on that will be $13,223.70. In this section, we have discussed the present value of an ordinary annuity which is the lump sum, which is equal to all the payments and all the interest accumulated to the end of the term of an annuity. You may need to find a lump sum that will allow you to make equal payments at a future date. So now you need to practice by working on these problems.